Well, I, um, I don't have, really have a very structured uh, talk or lecture. I just want to uh, make a few short statements about my, uh, my ideas about my work and give uh, a number of uh, short examples. Actually, in, um, when I was um, at university in Amsterdam doing musicology, I, did, I enrolled in a side program uh, in philosophy about anarchism, where, it, um, well, in several lectures, the, like the 19th century left-wing uh, anarchism was treated, and also the very right-wing American very variant, um, the, which promotes the so-called night watch state. And then we were asked to, to write um, uh, a piece about uh, uh, the course. And what I did was actually um, criticizing the, the way of thinking, because it was still completely hierarchical. Uh, with a, a, a strict yes-no logic uh, in all the, uh, the, the anarchist thinkers. So I thought it was important to talk about um, uh, other kind, times of, uh, kinds of thinking, um, anarchist, anarchism in thinking and language, where uh, uh, yes and no can be both true or, or, or neither of them. So I uh, wrote about modern poets like uh, uh, Rimbaud, Mallarmé, and also about uh, Antony Artaud. Um, who was for me very important. He made statements like um, all true language is uh, incomprehensible or whatever I write, I want to burn it the next day because it's no longer true. And Arto was also very important for me in the, my first beginnings as a vocal performer, uh, which was in performing some texts of him and uh, it helped me uh, hearing his voice, as it were, well, um, uh, but I was thinking, what? I cannot do this on stage. Yes, yes, you can. And and so I I, I went further uh, across, so to say, the borders of madness on stage, and I uh, noticed that um, uh, audiences didn't find it embarrassing, but rather authentic. So I was very encouraged by that. Um, I'll show a few early uh, data poems now. Um, this is a 1919 one by Tristan Zara. Uh, for the non-Dutch uh, German speakers, I have to explain the verb uh, brüllen. It means to scream, or to roar, uh, also the crying of a baby. But anyway, in this form, brüllt uh, can actually be two forms of the verb. It can be the thirst, uh, third uh, person singular, but also the uh, plural imperative. So if you say to someone, to an audience, brut, you should all roar or scream. So I, I recorded this um, uh, as, as a, uh, a nine minute piece. It's a total of 410 times. It starts like, brut, brut, and then Millis sort of thing, brut, brut, and towards the end it's sort of brut, brut. So, um, and then, um, I, what I very much like about the ending is after this, all this uh, like uh, exhortating the, 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 the audience to, to roar, it, uh, it turns out that it's actually the third person singular. It's the author of the poem who says, der sich immer noch sehr sympathisch findet, who still finds himself very sympathetic. <coughs> Another poem, this is from, by Man Ray, 1924. Uh, and as when I saw it, first saw it, it was immediately for me clear that this is a very rude act of censorship, so crossing out a whole poem with a thick marker. So I thought I come up with a, an, a suitably aggressive sound to perform this, like ah, 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 and so on for uh, the sounds, the duration of the sounds uh, indicated by the uh, length of the strokes. So I've done quite a few successful performances with with audiences participating of this poem. Uh, where I instructed them to not use that exact sound, but just choose uh, an unpleasant or aggressive sound of their own liking, and me conducting it like this, and so through the whole poem. Um, so this uh, shows already that uh, I advocate um, a democracy of sounds, to say something political at least, uh, uh, where no, no sounds uh, in sound poetry should be excluded from the material you can use. Uh, and sometimes when I perform, people talk about uh, reference to, uh, for instance, uh, Cathy Barbarian as being a representative of uh, um, vocals, of voice in contemporary music. But that doesn't, doesn't, doesn't make any sense. It, it, that kind of singing is still uses only 10% of the possibilities of the voice, like any style of singing as well as speaking, use only a very tiny part of the possibilities of the voice. For instance, contemporary 
a classical singer will never uh, use any sounds that are considered indecent. <coughs> or something like that, or, or not, let alone aggressive sounds, like, or something like that. Um, they, all, they are all very scared that it will uh, damage their precious voices or that they will not make a good impression on the audience. So, but for me, any sound can, can be used, as long as you, of course, uh, give it uh, a sensible place in a work. Uh, and that, of course, is the task of the artist. Um, well, sometimes people say sound poetry is, uh, doesn't communicate anything, it's too vague, it's, um, uh, well, actually, that, I think that's also con can be seen as a quality of it. I uh, have the experience that it can open up and people and activate their imagination. For instance, I did for a long time, for several years, uh, a program in primary schools where I would um, present a short sound poem, about two minutes, uh, to the kids, and then after that, they would uh, given, be given the task of writing down. I would say, I would say, this is a story without words, and please write down what you think it was about, without it giving them a chance to talk to each other. And they came up with the most wonderful and varied stories. And we actually were able to make a little book out of it, just sort of crime stories, stories happening, things happening in a wood, things happening in strange religions, and so on and so on. Um, on the, on the other hand, uh, I would want to state that sound poetry is the only form of contemporary art that uh, you could still be arrested for if you do it on the street. Uh, um, if you play atonal music on the street, a musician, people know, okay, that's that. Or if you be out on the street making a, a non-figurative painting or a sculpture, people know, okay, that's modern art. So, but as a sound poet, you would still be taken away as a madman. Um, these old ex examples, I um, want to jump to some early work of myself. This is um, um, Der Minister Bedauer der Artige Äußerungen, where um, the, the vowels are slowly, gradually dropped, uh, giving it uh, a different expression. And here in the other form, it says uh, the, the consonants are gradually dropped. And as you maybe can see uh, at the bottom, it says und so weiter. Uh, which means uh, etc. Um, this is the English version which I hope to present tonight. Uh, and um, I like this kind of term, etc. What, what would be etc. there? Uh, the process has been completed. All the vowels are, uh, have been elided. Um, so, but then it's up to the performer to come up with a sensible continuation after that. Um, this is a more a recent text I wrote. Uh, actually, um, uh, I jump now to, I'm, I like to use also more uh, like uh, uh, computer-based uh, strategies of writing. And this uh, is actually, I made a collage of uh, quotations of Frank Zappa and then uh, uh, mildly scrambled that with a so-called Markov chain uh, uh, process. And um, uh, then, it is actually a piece for uh, voice and disc clavier, which is a MIDI-driven uh, piano, uh, where this, all the sounds are uh, generated by the voice sounds in terms of uh, pitch, uh, loudness, and tempo. Without deviation from the best, you guessed me weird. Drop out of your TV set. I'm delicious with a boring, miserable life because you guess me weird. Drop out of you. I will, in the following examples, jump to other places. In the uh, there's no time to make really nice uh, fade outs and fade in, so uh, it may be sound a little rude, but okay, here we go. Music is not love, love is not music, music is not beauty, music is the best! Okay, so far, Frank Zappa. Uh, then there's another one. Uh, I had um, uh, an early poem uh, of about 30 seconds entitled Electroshock Boogie. It goes like this. So, um, uh, 
brief version. Later on, I thought um, I could um, use that sound as a background for an, again, mildly scrambled text about um, uh, the theory of electroshock uh, treatments, which um, would then sound like this. And electroshock therapy remains the phases of psychiatric disorders where it's still to be demonstrated. And electroshock therapy is used almost electroshock therapy as a secondary treatment of electroshock therapy is still used with Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually now working on a, uh, a lot longer piece uh, where the text is generated on the same lines, but with more, uh, more, um, uh, with different and some more stronger uh, forms of scrambling based on uh, Mallarmé's uh, throw of dice entitled "Roll Dice Roll." Another way to um, generate. Sound po more sound poetry text. Briefly, this is uh, entitled First Class Nightmares. And there, uh, uh, there's the word for nightmare in seven different languages. And there's a short section with uh, sound poetry uh, generated from that word by uh, so-called L systems um, uh, generation princip principle. That's also being used for to create fractals in images. Uh, so what happens is one, each letter of the word will be uh, replaced by one or two, or sometimes three other letters of the same word, and then there's a next generation with the same process and the next, and these are only three generations. This is not a, a, um, a, a chance process, it's completely deterministic, but still it's uh, sometimes pretty hard to uh, predict what will come out. And so this piece works by uh, having a short section of snoring. <laughs> And then there will be another nightmare in a, a different language. And so it goes through all seven. Um, one uh, other project I want to briefly mention. Uh, I, I, also, I always like to use um, things for purposes that they were not meant for. Um, and so I, um, I thought of using uh, um, optical character recognition software to, for, um, to generate sound poetry texts. So I gave them uh, drawings like this, uh, put it in, into the optical character recognition program, and it came out, of course, with a text with about 70, 80% punctuation marks, dollar signs, and so on. And um, I made a CD where I would recite those, and uh, also I imported the uh, drawings as raw data files into audio programs to make el electronic sounds and uh, create, combine that with the reading of the text. Also make some uh, digital variations on the original drawings. And then some examples of the text uh, that came out. Still, I think, uh, very briefly, um, play a few fragments of the sound that I got there. The texts were in, uh, in English and in German. In the next example, it starts with uh, German but then slowly fades into English. Einfaches Anführungszeichen unten. V1, V.1, einfaches Anführungszeichen unten FT, Bindestrich, Bindestrich, kleiner als OG, Schrägstrich, V.5, einfaches Anführungszeichen unten. 
V, K, 2, Doppelpunkt, 1, einfaches Anführungszeichen links, V, 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 einfaches Anführungszeichen und ein kleiner als V, Linde Strich, 51 V, V, S, E, Z, E, Unterstrich, Schrägstrich, V, 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 minus 3, K, K, einfaches Anführungszeichen links, P, V, 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 Schrägstrich, einfaches Anführungszeichen unten, V, einfaches Anführungszeichen unten, V, V, einfaches Anführungszeichen unten, Unterstrich, V, C, W, Flash, 1, einfaches Anführungszeichen, Slash, Dash, K, Slash, 1, Underscore, Minus 5, M, L, Minus 1 Dollar, Dash, single quote K, dash, dash, dash one, X slash dope, underscore tilde, underscore, underscore, slash, underscore, DK, or underscore slash, E1, underscore, single quote B, underscore, underscore, dash, underscore, underscore, backslash, underscore, underscore. Okay, so, um, as, um, I, 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 I always have, uh, uh, trouble, um, relating directly to a political situation, but, uh, sometimes I, I get into a little more of it. So I show, I briefly th uh, walk through this uh, four minute video, only stopping at a few moments. Well, I says to him, I says, I says, well, I says to him, I says, I says, well, I says to him, I says, I says, well, I says to him, I says, well, well, I says to him, I says, well, well, I says to him, I says, well, well, I says, what I'm trying to say. Say, what I mean to say, I say, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, you know, that's what I said. I said, that's what I meant to say, well. Well, that's what I tried to say. That's what I meant to say. That's what I tried to. That's what I said. That's what I meant. That's what I tried. That's what I meant. Well, well, you know what I said. I say. Hey, you know what I said. I say. I say. You know what I said. Well, 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 well. That's what I meant to say to me. That's what I meant to say to me to say. That's what I meant to say to me to say. Said to him. I said. I said. That's what I said to him. I to say. You know what I said. Try. You know what I tried. Say, that's what I tried to say. I was saying, as 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 I was saying, well. Do, do we have two minutes or can I? Should we stop? <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, there's one more thing I had prepared, which is actually uh, uh, a, a little sound piece that um, uh, is entitled Raadgevingen voor de jonge maker in, in Dutch. This is an advice for the young maker or the young creative artist. And it's also a kind of a bit of a, a little manifesto. I, I will play it and then uh, give, try to give a, a simultaneous English uh, translation. All kind of material can be useful. You decide what is ugly or beautiful. Feel confident about letting totally unrelated things happen at the same time. Follow your first impulse with a healthy mistrust. Listen to yourself only and don't do tryouts. Humor is, humor is indispensable. No humor for humor's sake. No provocation for provocation's sake. If you're honest, you will provoke the right people at the right moment. Institutions are not there to be served, but to be used. Take a lot of risk. Only then you have a chance to hit the bullseye.